Hey, it's just so Trish and it's Wellness Wednesday, the first Wellness Wednesday of the year. <sighs> I feel like I need to be closer. Here we go. Why? Because I've had a bad week. Not a bad week. It hasn't been a bad week. But, oh, so here's the deal. I've been like starving for company for like the last year. Probably like once my postpartum has released, I like am a very social person. Mm, but I have six kids and I have school and I YouTube. So, you know, I'm kind of like a little bit. I found what to do with myself in the meantime. So I get company, I get awesome company. Door Patch Heaven's here. I'm like, yeah. And so they get here and wouldn't you know, everybody and their brother starts showing up and they're not even showing up for them. I'm like, hey, these are awesome YouTubers. And they're like, okay. I mean, they're not even like showing up because they're like, oh, YouTubers, I have to hang out with them. No, they're all of a sudden showing up for me. And I'm like, and I'm so like ecstatic ecstatic to have company my whole life like falls out the window and then it just becomes convenient i have been guilty of convenient eating i have it's been awful survive christmas and then i have a new year's eve baby i had a baby on new year's eve of course the entire day of new year's eve when my husband's like you need to do this i'm like i pushed a watermelon outside of a lemon it is my anniversary date. Leave me alone. I actually do that for every birthday. I'm like, dude, dude, dude. That was work. It hurt. It hurt. Give me a break. So we had the birthday. We've had, you know, it's just been a whirlwind. And, you know, I'm so thankful for the experience because it reminds me, you know, it's so easy to sit here and be like, all you got to do is this, 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 and 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 you can totally lose weight and you can totally get your health back on. You know, where's your meal plan? <sighs> so if you're not getting enough sleep, the last thing you can really do is say, I'm going to control what I eat. If you're sitting there and you're living in the whole, Hey, I can't get, you know, I can't, get my food plan i can't figure out because you're living in chaos losing weight is a symptom of good health or unless you're some of the other ones that are gaining weight is a symptom of good health because we have those mamas that are that way i have friends who are that way okay and i know it can be somewhat miserable to sit there and you see them and they're teeny tiny and you're just like must be nice It's just as hurtful as them saying, hmm, can't lose a pound or two. It really is. It's devastating to them. It breaks my heart because I, I have friends who fight to keep weight on. Otherwise, they look like death. I just look pudgy, squishy, and lovable. You know, and they look like a poor skeleton and skin. So anyways, losing weight is a side effect of good health or gaining weight, depending on what you need to do. To have good health is sleep. If you're not getting enough sleep and you're living in chaos, nothing's gonna work. There's nothing you can do. You are going to be fighting an uphill battle. Good luck. If you're living in complete chaos that you can't get your brain to have a thought and then it becomes a vicious cycle because what happens is when you're exhausted, living in chaos, then you make bad food choices. You take choices that are easy and easy isn't always the best choice, which then kind of makes your brain spin and your body spin out of control, which then keeps you in chaos, deeper in chaos, and it just becomes a vicious cycle of eating garbage and can't think you know and then it's like how do you get off this merry-go-round of chaos and it's hard sometimes 
we are in situations that we can't. Now, none of this is mine. You know, mine was just very seasonal. We're getting settled and things are great. But, you know, having about five days experience and watching my weight do this. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I range between 152 and 158 this week. Chaos, exhaustion, not sleeping, fun, overwhelmed. You know, all of those factors of just the joys and the pains of chaos create and my weight fluctuate your weight's going to fluctuate like crazy and so you got to find a quiet spot you got to find i mean sometimes this is life with like a couple of toddlers in the house sometimes it's just like your husband works 40 hours a week or bless your heart you're doing this alone it is hard when you live like this and at the same time, you can move out of that chaos and you can find a way to start bringing in routines. And of course, this year I'm talking all routines, all about routines. I am just like attaching my trailer on the back of the Andrea Mills van on routines and I'm following her all the way and bless her heart, her New Year's is all about routines too. And she's gonna tell us about it. So I'm just like, yeah, building that routine and getting organized, I was talking to Tangie, Tangie Midget, and we were talking to them, we were talking about the chaos, and Chris, I think it was Christy Alley, um, I love her, I swear she could be related to some of my family, she's a lot like them, and how she really, in order to get the weight off, she actually came in and hired an organizer, an organizer just to clear out the clutter and the chaos so she could focus on her health, and that's when she lost her weight for good. You know, so it kind of goes into that chaos. So the very initial steps, I'm going to tell you in the very first thing I felt, get enough sleep, find a way, turn everything off, come down. Even if it's you, if you're used to staying up till midnight, one o'clock and you can never get ahead, find a way to sleep, getting the food organized. Be a best friend to your crock pot. Even if this means you're gonna crock pot the family's breakfast, lunch, dinner, what have you, at least one or two meals a day, and you etch out something separate that keeps you focused and moving towards health, do that. Schedule yourself some quiet time. You cannot be successful without a plan to be successful. Now, granted, you can build a routine. You could take the time and plan to be successful, build a routine, and then all of a sudden, it becomes autopilot, and you don't have to think about what you're doing because this is so natural. But you're not there yet. If you're living in chaos, you are not there yet. Don't even think you can fly by the seat of your pants. Plan to be successful. Sit down. If it's an hour every week, if it's a half hour every other day, schedule yourself and make sure the rugrats and the chaos, or if you're taking care of an elderly parent or grandparent or whatever, is contained that you can go and say, I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. I'm going to clear my brain and I'm on plan. I will tell you, I always feel chaos when I go to the grocery store. Here lately, it's just like grabbing what I need. And what happens is as I go there, I don't really know what I'm shopping for because I don't have a recipe plan. Huh, but you trust me, I ain't got it in here, but I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that and making my life a little easier. The less decisions you have to make, the easier and the less chaotic. Sometimes we're in chaos and then we have to make decisions and we are not mentally, emotionally prepared to make decisions, including the fact of where you wanna go eat. I don't know. So you need to make sure that you have just some things in check and not to be a fangirl on Andrea Mills. Fangirl on that woman. She, mm, she's making my life better. Get your quiet time. Come up with a meal plan. Even if it's basic, even if you're eating the same dang two meals all week, just do it this week. Make it simple. Plan those leftovers. Cook extra so you can repeat. And if your husband's not willing to do that, serve the kids leftovers and serve him what you're making. If your kids are picky, too bad. Mama's got to survive here. You're entitled to not do things. 
like, well, I could make a second meal because my so-and-so, just because you could doesn't mean you should. All right. I am like, I can't believe like I'm going through it. My brain was just like, oh my goodness. I'm so frustrated and I'm watching my weight. I'm like, why can't I get a grip? If you're on the Facebook group, you know, I was like, I am struggling and I'm still a bit struggling to get back on. And let me tell you what my body wanted in the midst of that stress. Sugar, lots of sugar, mm, lots of sugar. Anyways, I'm thankful to like relive that experience because we all do it. We all go through it. It doesn't matter. You can be 40, 50 pounds, five pounds from goal and you will still have to fight this battle. All right, so coming up, this should be out today on Wednesday. Hopefully not Thursday like I've been doing. But I do want you guys to know I'm doing the frugal family food on Friday. I am and it's a total frugal family food. It is pretty much any diet, every diet, totally on board. And the fact that you will be able to freeze this meal, you're making a large batch red sauce that you'll be able to freeze and put up so that you have a meal ready to go and it's homemade and it's from scratch and it's great price. And, and okay, because I'm really like, one of my goals is to be doing some more scrapbooking. And one of my favorite ways of scrapbook has always been doing um, recipe cards. I love recipe cards. In fact, I have this little tiny blog with like four posts because I can't get up on it again and like 4,000 views for one because of recipe card. So I have a recipe card for you on this one. Isn't that cute? It prints up on a four by six. It's a photo, but anyways, it's going to be attached to that video and it will be at my blog, just so trish.blogspot.com. There's nothing much there. You don't even have to run over there, but it's kind of where I put my stuff. All right, I better go because we got a thing and I should put some makeup on. Not that you can see me. Anyways, peace out.